nighttime in America, but a picturesque day right now in New Zealand at Wellington Sky Stadium, where the U.S. women kick off their 2023 campaign. The Stars and Stripes warming up for the first of two games against New Zealand this week. It's an important tune-up on the pitch and in the very stadium the U.S. will play in during this summer's World Cup. The number one team in the world looking to become the first three-peat World Cup winner, and the journey is about to begin. Pushing forward from fullback. Mitch Purse. And now the chip cross in, met by Morgan at the front post, but unable to trouble the goalkeeper, Aaron Naylor. Exactly, though, what the United States is wanting to see in that right back of Emily Fox. They want to get those outside backs overloading the flanks getting in behind Alex Morgan making a really good run almost finds her confidence lovely ball play through there on the right side for Rose Laval as she dances her way along the edge of the penalty area things just opened up for a moment there and it came from a really nice pass through here Mitch Purse finding Rose, and if she can make that run, that is on all day out of midfield. No one's going to track her, doesn't get a hold of it. Next first start. Down the right it goes here for Mitch Purse. Purse up against Ward. Can she get a ball into the middle here? She's done really well to get into the box, and then comes all the way for Horan. What a stop that is. Looked like a certain goal for Lindsay Horan, who is denied by Aaron Naylor. What a lift that is for New Zealand because that is a gift that falls to Haran. Doesn't get a hold of it as much as she wanted to, but well done by Naylor. Pushing it forward towards Mitch Purse. Haran continued the run, but Purse will look to play it in towards the back post, and she almost scored. Not sure if that was the intention, <laughs> but it caught out Aaron Naylor. And she just couldn't manage to squeeze that one inside the far post. Yeah, Naylor thinking she's going to serve this one across. Almost gets caught going for that cross. Oh, and that's when, as a goalkeeper, you kiss that post and say thank you very much. Because <laughs> She played in New Zealand all the way back in 2008 in the Under-17 Women's World Cup. Here's Alex Morgan down the left side and couldn't get that one on target. Purse was in the middle. Swanson was further forward on the right. Couldn't quite get this one down. It's bouncing, it's bouncing. That first touch doesn't bring it down, and then she mishits it. I don't think she's trying to find Swanson, but doesn't get a hold of this at all. Standing over the free kick. Plenty of movement there in the box as it comes towards Haran. And the flag is up. Not even sure if she got a touch on that one as it came in from Swanson. Uh, Haran, I don't think she got a touch of it. It doesn't look like she did. But well, hardly been, at all, really. Yeah, but, but they've proved to be difficult to break down for the United States. Swanson's ball swept in towards the back post and Rodman heads it wide. Two minutes after coming on as a half-time substitute, what a good opportunity that was. Oh, and that's just on a platter for Trinity. Rodman has to be in the back of the net. What a good ball that is by Swanson, and she knows it. Here's Haran. Lovely ball through there to... Rose Lavelle, New Zealand defence backpedalling as Lavelle continues to carry it forward. Can she go all the way? And there is that seam in behind those two central midfielders. It opens up for Rose Lavelle, creates a little space. New Zealand with India Page Riley coming in to replace Ava Collins. Hits Rodman down the right side. Rodman's cross into the box, and that's the first goal of this World Cup year for the United States. And it comes off Mallory Swanson. It's taken a while for the breakthrough, but six minutes after half-time, it's 1-0.
Swanson's 26th goal for her country. Rodman taking a peek before she even got that ball. Takes another peek. Swanson cutting across. Riley doesn't even see her over her shoulder. Takes a quick peek. World Cup first played in China in 2007. Here's an opportunity for Alex Morgan as the US look for a second. And she isn't going to miss from there. And just before the hour mark, it becomes a little more comfortable for the United States, who were held scoreless through the first 45 minutes. But Alex Morgan has her first goal of this World Cup year. And this is not a situation where you were going to see Alex Morgan pass and try and find someone on the back post. In this spot, a similar position, took a look and thought, no, I'm taking this one myself. Similar to position which she had in the first half with that angle. Here's Lindsay Horan. Sanchez with the ball forward. And Swanson's in round the back. She's already got one, and now it's another. Three second half goals for the United States. And a second goal of the day for Mallory Swanson. And you see her give a little tip of the hat to Ashley Sanchez, because Ashley Sanchez picking up right where Rose Lavelle left off, finding herself in that space. There's that gap. Couldn't do so in the end. Referee letting them have a go there. This is Rodman with some space down the right side. Pulled towards Lindsay Horan. It's Sanchez into the back post. Williams was there as well. Morgan was in the box for a few different options. But yeah, it remains 3-0. And the first option is Rodman could have taken that herself, similar to what we saw with Alex Morgan. Selfishly pulls that one. Ashley Sanchez, <laughs> uh, you see her head in the air. Three World Cups, four World Cups, four Olympics. Cross in from Fox. Rodman's there at the back post. <laughs> it was almost <laughs> an own goal there from Ashley Ward. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. So she's saying, but at you least got she that can the smile time. about it <laughs> because it was straight at Naylor. <laughs> you got to create a goal, and those are the details. And that's the header in there for goal number four. With 16 minutes left to play, and you see the joy on the faces of those players for Lynn Williams and what she's had to do to fight back onto this national team. Right on her head, over Naylor, has to come back for it. That wasn't an easy one. Coming back against the grain. Laid off by Morgan, the ball over the top, finds Trinity Rodman here. Couple of assists already, can she add a goal to that? She had that wonderful header just after coming on for the wonderful chance from a header that she couldn't score with, and yeah, it's another I, chance. I think she has brought a spark to this second half for sure. The United States faced a tough first, first 45 minutes, but Lynn Williams gets a goal on her comeback, and the U.S. finished with four. Mallory Swanson gets a couple, Alex Morgan as well. A much better second half performance from Black Kowandinovsky's team, and this World Cup year is off to a winning start. Yeah, and they're going to be pleased that that January 1st game, which can cause so many hiccups for the United States, they had that second half. The recovery after an okay first half, they come away with a convincing...